What is up guys, my name is Daryl, and today I'm gonna show you all something really cool. I'm gonna show you all how you can add an announcement bar to your WordPress website. Now in addition to this announcement bar, I'm gonna show you how you can have pop-ups like this for free on your WordPress website. Now they also have tons of really cool templates and beautiful designs, so I'm gonna show you all how you can add this to your WordPress website. Now if you guys don't have a pop-up or an announcement bar, guys, I recommend getting it because these things actually convert like crazy. People really do sign up and click on those announcement bars. So let me give you all the name of the plugin. So I'm gonna go to my dashboard right here. All right, I'm gonna go to my plugins and go to add new. All right, now over here, I'm gonna type in Icegram. That's the name of the plugin, Icegram. So right here, you can see it has the pop-ups, welcome bar, opt-in, and leads. So guys, this does a lot more than just announcement bars and you know email captures. It has like even like a bottom a contact little announcement bar. They have so many really cool features and templates, and it's a free plugin. So go ahead and install it and activate it, and I'm gonna show you all how to use it and set it up. So when you install this, on the left side right here, you'll see Icegram. So let me go to campaigns. Now right here, I have two campaigns running. So this one right here is actually my announcement bar, and this is my pop-up. And they have a lot of cool uh, templates and libraries that you guys can go choose from. So right here, you can go to add a new campaign. Now they might have like one right there that you've seen like by default and they have tons of like really cool free ones. So you guys can kind of look through all these right here. Now these are all like the email capture and call to action ones. And this is the one I use, so it's free, it's really cool. So uh, you know, you can go ahead and do your little homework and kind of check these out. But if you guys wanna make an announcement bar, I'm gonna go to add a new campaign. I'm gonna kind of show you how you can actually create your own because maybe you don't want to use theirs. So right here, I'll do something like, um, Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll go to uh, my other campaign. So basically, I'm just gonna show you all my other campaign and just kind of run you through the options right here. So this is my first ice cream campaign. So I think this is the one that comes like with default, kind of like the hello world uh, for WordPress when you make like a post and stuff like that. So right here, you can see the action bar. So over the message right here, I chose a new action bar. And then um, right here, you can see like give a name of it. Now right here, I put Labor Day sale, 70% off SiteGround hosting. Now this actually was a, um, it was a promotion that I currently had, but um, you know, I it, the sale's over, so I'm just giving you all an example of it. And right here you have show after. So you can show after, you know, five seconds, 10 seconds. You can make it appear whenever you want. And right here you can see it's an action bar. Now you can also do a theme. So they have different colors where you can choose from. So I like the orange and like the bright blue. I think those are more welcoming and I think those work better for conversions than darker colors, but that's my opinion. And then right here we have the headline. So uh, SiteGround Labor Day sale. And then right here you have get access to the best hosting. And of course you guys can put anything you want. So this is gonna be your long tail description. And then this is gonna be your title on the left side. This is gonna be in bold. So people are gonna see this uh, like kind of more than this right here. And you can also choose to use the subscription, the lead capture form if you choose to, but um, I wanna do an announcement bar, so I'm not going to do that. Right here, on the call to action button, what do you want it to say? So right here, I put get deal. And then where do I want to take them? Well, I wanna use my affiliate link for SiteGround, right? So right here, I put, uh, you know, zero listen, SiteGround. And then, you know, you can choose the theme's default colors. You can even add some custom CSS if you would like. So I'm going back over here. You also have the display rules. And what page do you want to put this on? Well, you can put it on specific pages. I just want it on my home page. And then when you wanna schedule this, you can have it always, or you can even say, you know what, I want it on this day to this day right here. And what device? So right here you have the computer, tablet, and the phone. So I choose to have it for all of them. And then who can see this? I put all the users. Now you can also have it for people who are logged in. Maybe you run a forum and you want to kind of market to people who are logged in on your forum saying, hey, do you want the, what's like the moderator status or you know whatever, whatever those forums do with like higher tiers, you can kind of advertise to your own uh, members. And then right here, retargeting. So basically if someone clicks off and they don't want to see it no more, you can say, okay, fine. Um, I'll show it to you again in like a week right here or something like that or two weeks. So basically uh, your users won't be spammed every single time they go to your website. So you can kind of control that as well. So right here, I'm gonna go to updates. Okay, and now let's go ahead and take a look at this. So right here, I'm gonna go to visit sites. All right, and remember guys, I have two campaigns. So right here, you can see it's Labor Day sale and then get access to the best hosting, get deal. And then I have the other campaign, 
times to be at 10 seconds. So whenever 10 seconds passes, this pop-up will show up, okay? So I recommend getting it, guys. It's a free plugin, it doesn't cost you anything. The developers of that plugin really went out of their way to make something really nice. I mean, I've seen this on a lot of sites. It looks really modern and only good things can happen, you know? It's like only good things can happen by having this plugin. People will opt in or click on the links and then from there you might be able to get a conversion or you might be able to get an email capture list okay guys so that's it for this tutorial i know it's short but i just wanted to show you all that plugin i thought it was really really cool so be sure to like this video all right i'll see you guys all later